Hi there, I'm Joey. I'm Jacob. And we are watching Star Trek for the first time. Last time we learned what 4D checkers was. Yes. <laughs> for two seconds before it was destroyed. And and, um, and round playing cards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I just want, I just want there I just want to see the room someday on the Enterprise where they keep all their games. I, I know. Just, I just right? want to see like what what stupid futuristic versions of regular games you can make up. Um, there was also something about learning the human condition, I think. Nah, fuck that. Um, today we're watching an episode called The Omega Glory, which either sounds like a Doctor Who Expanded Universe title what the or a sex joke. I'm not sure which. My, my, oh, well, I'm just going to say my brain first went to a Doctor Who thing. So. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. So, um, I guess we'll see what it's all about. We're going get to get into post-episode thoughts in a second. Be sure to join us then. We're about to watch The Omega Glory. God, just how many planets in Star Trek developed the exact same way that Earth did? Okay, I, I wanted to say, I know I always joke when we see a green and blue planet, it's just Earth again. <laughs> but no, it literally was. This was literally just Earth again. Just Earth again. Um, oh man, okay, so you know what? Okay, positives first. I loved the beginning of this episode. Strong opening. First, like, 15, 20 minutes, so fucking solid. Um... Space horror, which we always love. Um, Big fan of space horror. Uh, Kirk, Spock, McCoy, and I, I don't remember the name of the red shirt. Uh, they go into their ship that um, that was abandoned. They see that everyone's dead. All the, uh, the shirts and uniforms are lying around. And they've Fine. all been, like, turned into crystals. Yeah, they do. They do <laughs> I joked about it, but it's literally... The, um, the Batman 66 plot uh, from the movie yes. where, uh, <laughs> where they sucked the water out of their bodies. Um, yeah, they, was no. just all, they were all crystalline. Yeah, and so uh, they find this horrifying video message of the, of the last thing that was recorded on the ship of this guy just slowly dying, you know, saying that they're all dead, don't, don't, don't go back to your ship or whatever if you're watching this, um, you know, you're, you're all dead now. Wait, actually, wait, hold on, I know. We, we never resolved that. We, they kind of did. We'll, we'll get there. I have an issue with the ending. We'll, we'll talk. Uh, the Wait, I just thought about that. What? The, Wait. Okay, okay, so through the course of the episode, they they reason that they became immune, uh, immunized by being on the planet. They, everyone that was on the planet, the whole episode was safe. Okay, so you're saying that when the crew members went back up to their ship, they were already immunized, but everyone else on the ship wasn't? Yeah. Okay, but how do we explain Kirk, Spock, and McCoy and Sulu everyone going back up to the ship? They were safe. Kirk, Spock, McCoy, and the other captain uh, were safe because they were properly immunized. Like, they weren't going to spread it. However, Sulu and Sulu, the two red shirts totally <laughs> will. <laughs> the two red shirts, they're going to end up killing the whole fucking Enterprise. <laughs> they were that's, the, that's the plot for the next 27 episodes of this show. Is uh, <laughs> Also, we have 27 episodes of this show left. That's oh, kind of crazy. I love that. But yeah, Sulu and the two Richards are 100% going to kill everyone else because they weren't on the planet long enough to become immunized. Okay. See, okay, sure. All right. Understood. Wow. Okay. So back let's, to the beginning. Let's talk, let's talk about Captain Tracy, though. He's played by an actor named Morgan Woodward, um, who played uh, Dr. Gelder in, uh, I believe it was Dagger of the Mind, if I remember correctly. Um, who, either way, was phenomenal this yeah, episode. Yeah, I, I just kept saying, like, early on, he had just such a pleasant voice. Just, he should be, like, narrating audiobooks, you know, if, if he were still around. Which also, looking him up, he only died fairly recently, which is cool, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, just, just a great performance from him. And honestly, if more of the episode was just about the corruption of a Starfleet captain, that'd be cool. Again. I'd be in Well, yeah, oh, yeah, we did just do that in Pattern, Patterns of Force, didn't we? We did. But, um, but uh, he, wait, no, he wasn't a captain, though, was he? Yeah. I, he, he was He was just a... He, oh, he was, like, he he was, was like, like a famous speaker. He was, he was like a historian or something. Yeah, yeah, so he wasn't a captain, though. Th this was interesting, though, because we... Have you ever seen, like, a, a captain truly corrupted yet? Because we've met a couple throughout our time. We've met a... Well, we've seen... There was the dude in the Doomsday Machine, who... Mm. Well, that was out of desperation, though. Yeah, that was more like a... He felt he had, like, a moral obligation there. Um, this was, like, a true... Captain uh, Tracy, yeah? Mm -hmm. Was, like, truly foregone in his prime directive. Yeah. Um, but the episode very quickly devolves. And look... Oh, yeah. I just gotta say, <laughs> this episode's written by Gene Roddenberry. We've seen a few episodes written by Gene Roddenberry now, and I know, I really do know, that Gene Roddenberry was incredibly progressive for his time. Keywords for his time, because I think every episode we've watched by him has had this horribly regressive message in it somewhere. Just horrible. Oh my god. 
I, I love him. I really do. He created this wonderful show. Holy fuck. Stop. <laughs> just <laughs> stop writing episodes. Stop writing episodes. You are... Just executive produce it. Yeah. Uh, which which he is. He's an executive producer. But like he just, he just, it just stop. Oh my god. Okay. So the big, the big horrible thing in this episode is the racism. Um, which, so for context, all we need to, all we need to know is my favorite thing about Star Trek lore. The 90s happened. Yeah. The 90s happened. There was, it was the last world war. On, on, on the planet Earth, and the idea is that this planet developed the exact same way, so therefore it had a similar war in their equivalent of the 90s. Right. Which ended differently. It went the bad way. Which, the bad way, is apparently, I'm gonna say this out loud, is apparently Asian people taking over. And I just, I hated saying that so much more than I thought it would. What? Who's who? who? I know who. I know who wrote this. I know who thought this was a good idea. But what? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, so, I mean, I credit where credits do. I guess none of them are in yellow face. I'm pretty sure. Right. Unless I, I, it's just like, like right. I'm gonna say this too. Unless it's just really good yellow. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't wait to animate this! <laughs> what? Oh my god! <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna, I, you know, I'm gonna take a picture of my notes here. I'm gonna show you guys where my notes stop. Because I'll read them out. It says, uh, so there's a fight, there's another fight between Kirk and Tracy. They fight like four times in the episode. All of which don't go Kirk's way. <laughs> They're caught again by the savages. Which are the white people. Which, they which were, are the good guys. Anyway, I'd like to also put out, they were almost exclusively referred to that way in the first half hour. Yeah, to the point where at one point Kirk calls them the whites and the others the yellows. <laughs> but I have that, I have either cut by the sound, I have the, I have the American Indian line, which is horrible. Yeah. And then I just have what in all caps which i'm pretty sure was like the last 15 minutes of the episode yeah you stopped taking notes i stopped taking notes i did write two more after that one because it was funny um in the last fight between kirk and tracy they clearly just had shatner and woodward like actually shackled together yeah so they like didn't let them go until they were like actually done with their fight so Shatner's underwear is just showing the whole time. Right. I just thought that was funny. And they couldn't um, stop to fix the set problem. And then my last thing is here, and the, it, it just like, okay, we've commented on this before, before I'm pretty sure, but like, Kirk makes a really big deal of the fact that Tracy is interfering with this planet's history. And at the very end, Kirk gives this impassioned speech where he reads out the, 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 the Constitution, he reads out, we the people. The Which horrible, I horrible totally people. called out ten minutes ago. Horrible. And, and, and gets caught up by Spock. Spock's like, hey, um, aren't you interfering? And Kirk's like, no, it's not interfering when I do it. And it's I'm like, the protagonist. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, what the fuck? What did we watch? What did we watch? I just, I just, I wanted space horror. I saw the first, I, I saw the first 10 minutes. I saw space horror. I loved it. And then it didn't. And then it wasn't. It just, it stopped. I really, really wanted space horror. <sighs> Wow. Um. So, there, no, we're done. We're done. Yeah, you know what? We're, we're just better off done. We're done. All right. Uh, be sure, oh, God. Be sure to join us next week when we continue Star Trek The Original Series. Until then, this has been Joey Morgan. I'm Jacob. Oh, God. Good fucking bye. <laughs>